Hi, my name is Mathilde, I'm a Swiss artist based in London. It's an interesting mix of things I knew I didn't want to do and then things I was drawn into. Um, I was drawing from like, like very little and then I kind of carried on and I applied to uh, that BA to do fine art and to open up and try new things and that's hard game like discovered contemporary art as a way of having like a critical practice and um, explore different things and just yeah think about why you do the work and, and try to get into the theory and build from there. So I was start well it's how to start a new artistic process and that's always like a big question and so I always end up by repeating things that I've done previously until they don't work anymore and I'm always trying to be attentive to a new thing that kind of perhaps uh, my interest for a bit and then turning it into a plot or something I dig uh, because I've got yeah this idea that uh, you're always fooling around something that is some, some sort of a, a core thing that you can't really define or you struggle to define and then um, get turning this new uh, interest into, into something to, uh, to research and then it always um, goes through writing and suddenly something kind of emerges from that and, and I've got like images or things I want to crystallize into a physical object um, Uh, yeah, I think my so the first work or rather like yeah I consider as kind of a starting point was uh, a piece called Pyridolia and it's a charcoal drawing of 17 meters by maybe two and a half and it's an installation um, that I made in a old uh, factory called Usego in Switzerland. Um, so yeah, large. I I really enjoy creating uh, immersive work where people can lose themselves. And again, they're like worlds kind of morphing towards something that we don't we don't really know what it is. So yeah. Well, I think the last one, but it's always the last one really, um, because it always epicenter um, as a piece was something new that I had never tried and that was kind of condensing everything I was talking about and every time I make a new piece it feels like it explains a bit better what came beforehand so um, I guess the last one is the most notable one but then uh, the first one I talked about uh, Paridolia which is my first big large scale work I think is uh, one of my favorite ones So the making of it in terms of just creating the object after having like done all the research is, is quite quick, roughly three, four weeks in the metal workshop, uh, helped with the, by the technicians of the RCA, which was a great thing, uh, because although I couldn't weld everything, but then, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the making of it as an object is quite quick, it's just a research that took like a, almost a year and a half, because when I moved to London, I really wanted to shift my practice, and that didn't happen straight away, so a lot of uh, yeah a lot of reading writing as i said to kick off like the um, process of a new piece um not from a to z but the uh, like the uh, what i really like and when you do a lot of research and you kind of um fall around a subject that you can't really grasp and you try to 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 reach that and uh, research that and and, and then you move away and you come back and in the end when the whole thing crystallizes into an object it, it kind of stands for itself and it gathers all of that and which, what is really nice is having people to uh, suddenly react to the piece and mention things I was thinking about but that I never mentioned so it, it feels really good when people uh, yeah, grasp that I guess but without giving them anything so. So they don't have to understand that research, but if they get it without really knowing why, then it's great. The next exhibition is going to be at the assembly point in Peckham, um, and 
the title of the exhibit, the working title of the exhibition for now is The End of the World Image and it's based on a text by Jean-Luc Lancy. So yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, so uh, people can follow me on Instagram for my um, uh, contemporary art account and then I've got a website um, that I update every time there is a new piece so I think that's the best way because it gathers uh, writings and images.